All right, so welcome to the Gigatech Dojo. Today we're going to be doing a review of the H Doc um, cloning, you know, dual hard drive dock. Okay, so I got this item on Newegg for about 20 bucks. And basically, what it does is it allows you to dock two hard drives or SSDs at either three and a half inches or two and a half inches to your computer. And uh, overall, I would say it does that pretty well. And uh, you know, there was a little, uh, there, there was a few hook up, uh, you know, there was a few hiccups that I ran into. And, um, but most of all, it worked pretty well. Um, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. So just looking at the box right here, it has USB 3.0. It takes two drives. It does not have SATA 3. If you look at the back, the cover is completely covered. Um, so that is definitely falsely labeled. And uh, it's got generic dock drivers. Um, it just automatically hooks up. And uh, the construction of the unit is pretty good. It is plastic, it's not metal. It has an enormous um, power supply, which I guess really isn't that big of a deal. I don't know why hard drives or SSDs need such a huge power supply, but you know, it is what it is. So, um, you know, just kind of looking at the unit, here's the user manual. It's pretty informative. It does a pretty good job of telling you what you need to know. Um, so the unit itself is built okay, but obviously there's a lot of cut corners. That button on top, there's only one single button on the unit, and it's not the most satisfying button ever at all. Um, the tray, um, it moves out pretty slowly. Uh, you saw the power button on back. Um, but, you know, I'm not a re really worried about it breaking. Um, it seems to work pretty good. There is the uh, hole that covers up where the SATA output should be. And it's not there. Um, if you remove that cover, it's not there. Um, so let's keep looking at the unit. So you see this tray, it's convenient because it makes it smaller, but it's inconvenient because it does not have the same stability as the, the primary tray, okay? Uh, so we're looking at this, you see that flap? And if you have a two and a half inch drive, it goes in the opening in the flap. Uh, if you have a three and a half inch drive, it, the flap goes all the way down. So that's pretty much the way that works. Um, yeah, and so this is a pretty simple, no brains needed unit. Um, you know, just kind of thinking about it. So you see it's got two LEDs there and when you're cloning, they're gonna flash. Uh, so we're gonna get to that in a second. Just kind of showing the box here. So these are my two SSDs. Um, I'm going from the 840, which is 120 gigabytes, to the Kronos, that is 480 gigabytes. Uh, the Kronos is kind of a downgrade in some ways. There's gonna be a lot of ways in which the Samsung unit is better. It looks better, it feels better. Um, the write speeds are maybe slightly better, um, but obviously the 480 is just bigger. <laughs> um, the Samsung unit had very slow write speeds. Um, it had about 120 to 200 megabytes per second write speeds, which is for an SSD is not good. Um, but the, the Kronos, it averaged about 350. Uh, megabits per second in write speed. So I'm putting it in there right now. You see how it goes in. That one fits in pretty snugly, but you're gonna see that I have a little trouble getting this one in there. Uh, just cause you really just can't tell. Yeah. So I'm gonna notice it in a second here. Ah, there we go. I'm getting smart now. I turned it on. Okay, I still haven't noticed it. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't really quite fit in there very well. 
but it's it's not so bad though. It's not so bad. Once I realize it, I'm gonna realize I'm gonna push it in and it's gonna be just fine. <laughs> so those are the two LEDs that I was telling you about. Still haven't realized that. There we go. Good job. Put it in there right. There we go. Awesome. So everything's in there and you press it, you hold it down for five seconds, and now you see it's flashing, right? And then you hit it again, and then it starts plowing. Okay, am I gonna hit it again? Come on, buddy, hit it again. Okay, come on, hit it, dude. All right, maybe I hit it and I just couldn't tell. But anyway, yeah, I think that's what I did. So now we're in the, uh, super fast motion. I sped it up about, you know, 700 times. So things are moving real fast right now. So it took about a little over 10 minutes to clone my 120 gigabyte drive to the Kronos. And uh, that was really fast as it should be. Um, this is an SSD, so it should happen pretty quickly. And it was only 120 gigabytes. So yeah, it happened really, really fast. Um, so I had two drives. I replaced the drives on my my desktop and also replaced the drive on my laptop. Now my desktop does not have an EFI, EFI BIOS. It has just kind of your standard old school BIOS. It's an AMD system, so there you go. Um, but my desktop does have an EFI BIOS. Um, so I ran into a few issues with the, the laptop hard drive, well, SSD, and um, that I did not run into on the desktop. Okay, now I think it's done. So you can see the lights are no longer flashing. Um, I haven't realized it yet. I kind of set it and walked away. So I'll be back in a second or two. Here I come, you can see my shadow in there. All right, so I'm taking the drives out. I'm gonna confirm them. And uh, so yeah, I did it twice, but like I was saying, I ran into an issue uh, on my desktop. The drive showed up initially as having 128, 20 gigabytes of use space, but the rest of the 300 or so gigabytes was not allocated. So this drive makes an exact one-to-one -one clone. It does not expand um, the drive size. You have to go into the operating system and do that manually. Okay, so I'm telling you this right now. You're, when you clone your drive, it is not gonna expand it to 480 gigabytes or whatever. If you have a one terabyte drive, it's not gonna expand it to one terabyte. When you put it in the system, it will be the exact same drive that you took out. You have to go into your Windows disk management to expand the drive, okay? Um, now that was not a problem on my desktop. It did it legally split, no problem. My laptop, however, ran into issues because you know EFI drives have all these crazy partitions and it just did not want to do it, okay? Um, so I sat around, I, I, I tried a lot of different things. I tried, uh, you know, taking it to the other computer and doing it, but ultimately what I had to do was do Acronis Disk Director, um, which just uh, flashed up on the screen. Uh, that's, that's what I ultimately had to do, and there was no getting around it. Um, so when I put Acronis in, uh, I had to buy the pro version. It cost me about 20 bucks uh, from Amazon. And uh, um, basically I used the expand hard drive feature, uh, partition feature. And uh, it did it pretty quickly. I didn't have to reboot or anything like that. Um, so, the, so the program worked pretty well. Uh, you know, if I had just used Akron's true image, and just plugged it up, you know, took all the time to take stuff out of my computer, it'll be worked fine. But you see here, 
Mission accomplished. I've got a much bigger hard drive now, 445 gigabytes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. I recommend the product, um, especially if you have drives that are not boot drives. So come back later, watch some more videos.